Здрасти, everyone! It's Vicky here, and in this very quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Houdini scene for any type of dynamic simulation. So let's get started. The first thing you want to check is if you're using the correct desktop type. So by correct, I mean just the one that you're used to and the one that gives you the best tools for dynamic simulations. So you will probably use either technical or built. Okay, the next thing is to make sure you have a folder where, where you will save all cache uh, simulations, so all simulation data, uh, maybe flipbooks, any uh, files that you need, 3D models, so that Houdini has very quick access to it and you don't lose the files. They are always linked to exactly the same place. So to do that, we create something called a project folder. So you can go to file and then click on the new project. And this will um, show you this pop-up window which allows you to set up a new project folder so first you give it a new name so for example Houdini Sims and then you go to uh, you click this icon and find where you want to save it so let's say on my desktop and I just click accept and accept again and then on my desktop I will have a new project uh, project folder called Houdini projects and inside that project folder I will have Houdini Sims folder. If I go inside that Houdini Sims folder, what I will see is that I have a lot of different folders here. And when I create any renders or I cache my simulation, uh, it will save it over here. I can also save my geometries here. I can save my uh, flipbooks, anything that I want. And Houdini has very quick and clear access to it. Okay. The next thing uh, I want to make sure when I'm changing computers and I have my project folder, I need to make sure that Houdini knows where to find it. So I click on set project, then go to desktop or wherever, wherever you saved your project folder, select your project folder and then click on accept. So now Houdini knows exactly where to find the project folder and all the files. So you should not have any errors uh, and any files missing in your simulation. Okay, so now let's go to something called global animation settings. You can find them on the bottom left corner uh, of your Houdini window. And you can also click Alt Shift plus G to open it. Okay, so global animation options. And in here, the first thing you want to do is check if the frames per second are correct. So depending on your project, you will use different number of frames per second. And why is it important to do it first? Well, after you do an animation, you set keyframes or you have a simulation, it will be quite difficult to change the frames per second because everything is adjusted to the frames per second uh, you specified at the very beginning of your project. So it's better to set it up first uh, and then uh, don't have any errors later on. So frames per second, that's the first thing. Then you need to make sure that real-time playback and play every frame but never faster than frames per second is switched on. And let me show you why. So I will just switch this off for a second and close. And then I'll cl create a very simple sub. So I'll create a box and then I'll animate it by using dollar sign T. Okay. Let me just zoom out. And now when I play my my animation, sorry, you can see that the box is moving to the right. And if you look at the timeline, you can see that the timeline slider moves very fast. Uh, it moves one, two, well, less than two seconds uh, for 250 frames. So 250 frames should be 10 seconds. So it's five times faster than it should be. And in simulations, it can be a very big problem uh, because if Houdini skips frames and tries to play it very fast, it can skip frames. And it means also that it will not calculate your simulation correctly. So you will end up with some errors. So you need to make sure that in your global animation options, you switch on real time playback. Okay, which means 25 frames will be a second, sometimes slower depending on the simulation. So if the simulation is very heavy, it will be slower, uh, but it will never be faster. So Houdini will not skip any frames. And also this says that we will play every frame, but never faster than our frames per second. And you can save it as default and then close. Okay, so now when I play it, you can see that 25 frames is roughly one second.
Okay, so one more thing I will show you here is this little brain icon. Uh, it's very useful if you have heavy simulation and you want to add, for example, an animated collider to your simulation. Uh, but if you set a keyframe on the very first frame and then move to frame 100, Houdini will try to simulate everything in between. So it can sometimes crash or you will have to long a long time until it gets to frame 100. So instead of doing that, you can just click on this brain icon which will stop the simulation for, for the time being. And now we can set the keyframes. Simulation will not run, uh, it will not be simulated. And once you're happy with the keyframes on your animated or deformed uh, collider, you can go back to the very first frame and switch on the simulation again. Okay guys, so this is how you set up scene in Houdini for dynamic simulations. I hope you enjoyed it.